Hi, my name's Paul Stafford. I live on Phillip Island now and I've had a life that's revolved around food from a very early age until today. I love working with local ingredients and I love working with ingredients that are seasonal and that really inspire me to cook fabulous dishes. The kind of food that spins my wheels, I really enjoy working with proteins, I love working with meats, I love working with fresh seafood and obviously being based on Phillip Island I've got great access to really good seafood um, and I enjoy working with the team that we work with in the business. So Lionel, there's a lot of myths about olives and I think one of the ones is the, the green to black olive myth. Now, olives ripen, don't they? And they go green, purple, black, is that right? Yep, that's yep. right. In fact, most people, when they know we grow olives, they say, what do you go, green or black? I think most people think they come off the tree and go into a jar and get sold in the supermarket. The reality is, there's quite a bit of work involved in getting these from here to the table. We get our kids involved in a lot of the stuff that we do. You know, we go up to a Silverwater Winery on a on an annual basis, it's a bit of a, a road trip now to pick olives, which we then take home and get the kids involved in, in actually brining and then oiling those olives. And again, we get really excited about working with young people and trying to inspire them and, and get them passionate about food and get them working with food as well. So here we go, plated up and ready to eat. Some pan seared cooey wrap asparagus, some beautiful Bumbadine farm beef, a bit of an impromptu Shiraz grape jus, and the fabulous anchovy butter using Myrtleford's cultured butter. So, a meal fit for a king. Let's get into it.